morning, everyone. Matthew with Be Different. I hope you're doing well. It's Wednesday, the 26th of April. It's almost May. It seems like this uh, year is just flying by for some reason. I don't know if it's because I've been so busy with work or what's going on. Anyhow, today, I was reading my devotional. Um, I don't know if you guys have, have seen this or not. It's kind of like uh, it's uh, sparkling gems from the Greek. It's a great... Um, daily devotional book about all different sorts of things and if you're a detail-oriented person or you like details or back history or anything like that it's a great book to look at anyhow today he was talking about basically how to reach people and when different apostles in the bible were pre preaching they used tactical methods to reach their audience and some people who are who were so unchristian-like that worshipped um, Athenian gods, stuff like that, that they were they were just unreachable um, as far as the Christian faith is concerned because they were so involved in what they were doing, so perverted. Anyhow, and this one particular um, paragraph reached out to me and was like, that's interesting, so I'm going to read it to you real fast. When you treat people with heartfelt respect... It always keeps the door open, even when they don't agree with you. In fact, showing sincere respect is a door opener to every person's heart, regardless of culture, language, or skin color. <clears throat> now, that for me is so true, and I think you all could agree as well that as long as we keep the respect level high for who they are, what they believe, and acknowledge it, you know, in here it talks about I believe it was Peter when he was preaching, he, or Paul, that he said when he would talk to people, he would acknowledge their beliefs. He wouldn't agree with them, but he would acknowledge them, letting them know that they are devoted to their way of life. And he would never be disrespectful. He would always let them know that he recognizes that. And then he would proceed to preach about the Gospels. And the same thing can be applied in life in that if we don't necessarily agree with someone, it doesn't mean we don't respect them. It doesn't mean we treat them differently. And when you show them respect and show them love, and then they are a witness to the way you live, then you are sending a clear message that our God, the true God, is alive and he is actively transforming not only your life as a Christian, but their life as a heathen. And truthfully, that is what God wants. God wants us to be an example, to respect other people, to love them just as they are. God loves them just as they are. I mean, can you imagine some of the things that we find detestable and annoying and whatever, fill in the blank? God's, God loves that person. God loves them for who they are doesn't like what they do, but he still loves them and he respects them. And he knows that the only way he's going to get to them is to respect who they are first. And then he can appeal to their religious beliefs, <clears throat> how they're behaving, their lifestyle. So it's important today to remember that anyone you come across, not only does God love them, he respects who they are. And he is, a, and they are a child of God in the end. It doesn't matter. And, and they need to be saved just like anyone else. Be different today, guys. Show the world that you can be different, that you can respect people who least deserve it.